Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. So I'm out here at the entrance of our property where I planted up all of these hay racks along our fence line and these larger containers earlier on this season and we've enjoyed them so much. They've been so beautiful. Um, and I just got through telling you guys that I haven't dealt with budworms on my supertunias at all this year because we sprayed preventatively in May and June. And we really did have a long time where they were just so full of flower, but I just noticed that they started to flush out a little bit. And at first I thought, well, maybe they're just going through a little bit of a lull. So I didn't come out here and inspect them because they are on drip system. So I don't have to come out here every day to look at them. But I think that's where we go wrong. We get a little bit too confident. So when I came out here to take a look at them, they do have budworms. Um, and you can tell because like you'll see flowers that are completely chewed through. You'll see holes in them. You might also see black specks on their leaves, um, which is the budworm droppings. Uh, so your plants might look just super healthy, like super uh, green and just full, but not as many flowers. Uh, so I just wanted to show you today what I use for budworms because I am going to go ahead and spray them. Even though we're going into fall, it's possible I'll get one to two more months out of these flowers. I mean, last year, I was pulling these type of annuals in November. Um, so I really would like to enjoy them as long as I can and it's easy to do. So let me show you what I'm gonna use. So this is called Thuricide. The active ingredient in it is called Bt or Bacillus thuringiensis, which is actually a naturally occurring bacteria in the soil. It's not a contact killer, so it's okay to spray around honeybees. It doesn't hurt honeybees or any flying beneficial insects. What happens is you spray the foliage down of your plants and as the budworms eat through the new buds, uh, they will ingest the Bt and that's how it kills them. Um, so it's very easy to use. I'm gonna mix up at a ratio of four teaspoons per gallon. Now um, it'll depend, the amount you mix will depend on the, what you're spraying. For supertunias, I use four teaspoons. If you're spraying something else like uh, vegetables or fruit trees, there is a guide on the back of the bottle. Now see, I usually make a pretty good mess when I'm uh, mixing it up, but it's natural and safe, so I don't worry about it too much. So I've got my pump sprayer here. This is a two gallon sprayer, so I'm gonna be using eight teaspoons. So I'm just using a teaspoon here. So there's one, and I need to do that seven more times. Now I need to go fill up my uh, pump sprayer with water. I got my sprayer all ready to go, and then I realized that I accidentally grabbed my broken sprayer. Why I didn't throw it away, I have no idea. So I gotta go to the barn and get another sprayer real quick. I got my mixture transferred. This is a little bit smaller of a tank, but you know what, it'll actually make the job a little bit easier on me. I don't have to lift up two gallons of water. Um, so we're just gonna spray over the top like this. And then I just make sure to kind of lift up the umbrella here and spray underneath as best as I can. And then I'll go on the interior here until the plant is dripping. Oh, look it, here's one. Aaron, here's a budworm. Look at this. You guys can see what they look like. Green caterpillars that decimate your flowers. I usually find them out uh, more actively at night, but it is overcast today, so that's probably why. All right, so I'm gonna continue spraying. I've got my work cut out for me because I've got all of these hay racks to spray as well as all of our True Drop self-watering containers because they have supertunias in them as well. They're looking pretty good, but I don't want the same thing to happen. Um, so I'm hoping to come back in a week or two to show you a progress update of how they're looking. All right, guys, it's been 10 days and look at how the supertunias have responded. They look miles better than they did before we started spraying. And usually in the spring, I spray more routinely, um, usually once a week as a preventative to keep the budworms away. Next year, I'll probably keep on that schedule so that I don't deal with this again. But I just wanted to show you how quickly you can get on top of a problem like this and what to use. I'll probably go in and do one more application. We are into mid-September right now, so I don't expect to get a ton more time out of these plants. Uh, last year, I was pulling annuals in November, so it's possible I could get one to two more months. So we still wanna treat them well uh, so we can get more life out of them because we put a lot of time and energy into flowers like this. I know you guys do. So we want them to look at their best the whole season. Also, I went ahead and sprayed all the rest of my containers that contain supertunias or super bells for budworms because if these containers had it, it's really likely that the rest of them had it as well. I had a couple other containers that were looking like about half um, half full of blooms, a little bit better than these were, but everything is looking really great now. Um, so if you've struggled with this type of plant before and you thought, you know, super tenuous just don't work for me, they're just full of foliage, but I don't get very many blooms, or when I do get blooms, they're all damaged, budworms could be your problem, that, so that's something you could look into. So I actually have another container on the other side of this opening that I wanna show you as well. So I didn't show you guys this container in the first part of the video, but it was looking every bit as bad as the other side, and just look at it now. 
I mean, it just makes me so happy when we drive up and we see these beautiful, huge planters with flowers that are just abundant. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful, just seeing kind of the before and after and knowing what to do and knowing what to watch for on your petunias at home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.